welcome to the collection chamber. I am Hero of Avalon. And I'm Biffman. And today we will be doing an impressions video of the Sacred Mirror of Kofun. Or the Sacred Mirror of Kofun. We haven't quite decided or deciphered what the pronunciation <laughs> is, so we're just going to go with Kofun. Um, this game was developed by Future Concept and released in 1996. Um, it's a bit of a missed clone. Um, and the hook of this particular one was it had Jean-Michel uh, Cousteau uh, as the sort of star or the celebrity in it and it uh, featured underwater photography so without further ado we shall go straight into the game oh is it new game yes oh is this continuing your game no I think it's alright okay, we'll see <laughs> seems to be okay any interactive. I think were they one of these ones that were bought out and bought out and bought out, so they now belong to something else, you know. They're French. So Jean-Michel Cousteau Productions. Yes. Was it Jacques Cousteau who was the the celebrity? No, both of them were, but Jacques Cousteau was Jean-Michel Cousteau's father, and he was the original. But Good the original. morning. John Michel was famous in his own right. They're both o famous oceanographers, in case you didn't know. Yes, yes. Oh, what's happening here? It's a vidnet V. You believe in legend. It's a turtle. It's science, maybe. Are you in any way superstitious? I think I'm a little bit. Maybe. What you are is work for hire, right, Chris? Well, we got a job for you. We are John Michel Cousteau, explorer, environmentalist. Jean-Michel wants you to put a research habitat on the ocean floor. Yes. <laughs> Should be a cinch considering the all Famously disheveled. You play. <laughs> As director of the High Technology Research Center, and sponsor Jean-Michel... Ah, he looked like he took a lot of cocaine in the 80s. Even more so now. The sacred mirror. It's Kofun. It's Kofun, you're right. <laughs> The AI lava lamp. Also, not it's a bit gormless, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've played this game and he's not the. He's a fair bit annoying. <laughs> he, said, he said he knows squat about science, but everything about <laughs> emotions. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Oh, and he's a stock, stock car, car racer. Ryan, you know, yeah. That's everything you need <laughs> to do a science expedition. Ciao. Ciao. Yeah, he's annoying. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. And there you go. Dramatic music and all. Dramatic music. We're on a. Looks like we're on a. This is like the, the vessel, the ship. Yeah. I'm going to let you struggle for a bit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I turned the lights off. What's the lava this? lamp. All VIPs register with me. Sign in, please. Oh. Sign in. Just... Who am I again? What's my name? You're Chris Young. I'm Chris Young. It'll take a minute to process your file. While you wait, I suggest you see Jean-Michel. Check out the next room in a few minutes. It's quite oh, thank you. Oh, that was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> cool boat, huh? This could all be yours if Jean Michel puts you in charge. <laughs> I've, I've warned James about this game, so. Uh... Yeah. I'll let you know that I'm very much into adventure games like this, so I might get more out of it than, than Avalon over here. Yeah. <laughs> but he's the one that reviewed it for the site, and he warned me that this wasn't a particularly amazing game. No. It's no classic. So it's dramatic. The tension is building. What will you do? Will you escape the room? I will click right. <laughs> What's this? Mm. Oh. What's that? That was nothing. It's actually quite confusing to know where you're going. It's no big deal getting into that room. Now he started taunting you. Maybe the easiest thing to do on this mission, getting in to see Jean-Michel. 
If this is the easiest <laughs> thing, I've turned around again. Yeah. Is it through here? <laughs> there you go. Should I put him out of his misery? No, I want to find. I want to know. Can you, you can't go out those doors, can you? Is there a button somewhere that you could press? This dramatic mission with the race car driver that can't get out of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to talk to like the lava lamp again? No. Tell me when you want some help. Is it something to do with this bit here? No, you just got to get out the room. It literally, just get out of the room. Yeah. Am I am I in the right am I in the right way? Is it that is it this board at the back? <laughs> Head towards the lava lamp. Okay. Turn to the left. Is it that button? Yeah. You're okay. observant. <laughs> That's good. Jean Michel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm observant. Oh, so that was a test of being observant. Yeah. Exactly. Welcome aboard the Antares. I and here he is, the star of the show. You a piece of his mind. Don't be offended. Tim Tennyson, the old game, because the FMV is in full screen. Yeah, he could drive windowed. you crazy. Mm. Just like his brilliant inventor, Paul Well, Sinus, I think there was a Windows 95 no doubt variant of this that may... The international uh, scientific has given yeah. me the but when I when I tested it, I didn't know that. <laughs> so got I did. Got I just I just used the Windows 3.1. Thing. Was the aim of evaluating our planets. I hope you're listening because you've got to figure out what you're going to do. Ah, I've got you here. <laughs> I'm not going to help. I want you to suffer like I do. I've also got the internet on my phone, so I'll bring the walkthrough if need be. Um. But yeah, in case you don't know, I create these installers for the games to work on modern systems. Hello, I'm Steve and Grant. So I played this very briefly. You join but us in our study of the, the tester here. Yeah. Um, By watching the impact of global environmental you, trends on the priest? coral is that, reefs, or is that we just hope to predict what the impact. No, he's head of the National Institute of Science. Science. Our first yeah. job is to find this an ideal site of for a research habitat set, the Poseidon, uh, about five years in the help future us locate this when it was made. Oh, is that, is that why there's all this holographic imagery? This is why... Gianna Capucci, yes. an Italian specialist in underwater <laughs> life. Gianna Capucci. <laughs> Jean-Michel um, introduced Paul Sinus, inventor of the Poseidon. Sinus. And yeah, the it was the worst <laughs> name. The and the problem is, Jean-Michel can't say it. He goes, Poseidon? We need you, Chris. Cruel joke on it. Explore and ultimately put the Poseidon in place on the ocean. So do you know if this was made was a French made game, you, I like your or was it American specific. money behind it? You see, you could help. It was with a, a collaboration with multiple people. I think it was a French We're made a cultural game. think um, tank. And it was Searching with the, the French uh, the science, science Institute a and a couple of others, you know. Missing from the tomb and it was supposed to be a series of adventure with games by John Paul Cousteau. Oh, sure, Michelle could start. You know, I keep making his name up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it was it, it wasn't a success, and this was the Welcome the one and only game they managed to release. I return you to Jean Michel. Okay. Is that a spaceship or a boat? That's the boat. Your objective is clear. You must find a site which presents great biological variety, where the Poseidon One observation and analysis station can be set up. You will find information on the sites selected by the International Scientific Committee in Edward, the computer. So I'm about to go on a mission. The, well, you just have to figure it out. <laughs> That's what you've been given. No tour of the boat, no how it works. You're the captain now. Good luck, mate. Are you sure that's not all in the manual, maybe? <laughs> manual? Technology. Catalyst or cataclysm. What this guy's think? getting annoying. I told you. He's really, he sounds really smug. And when you see his face, he looks really the smart. The Antares was made for tech junkies like lamp, you. Lava lamp. Yeah. Would you be smug if you were a lava lamp? Yeah. Wait, isn't this where we started? Yeah. So that wasn't another room, they just opened up? Yes. Oh, okay. It keeps jumping really weird places. I'll help you out when I can, but remember one thing. I'm not going to give you any hints. And I like a challenge. You can figure it out. <laughs> he you're, likes a challenge. Your, your objective is clear. Simply sublime. <laughs> I can't remember what he said. It was it was about like taking, seeing biodiversity in an ocean or something. Yeah, exactly. And dropping the the boat somewhere in a good mm. position. 
and okay. also finding the Japanese artifact, which is the sacred mirror of Kofu. Which way should I go, left or right? I'm going to go left, because I read from left to right. Um, there is another version of this game on Windows 3.1, which is the VR version, which we're going to try and... Oh, what's this? Is that a bug? It's the sub read, I think. Oh, why is it shaped like an insect? I don't know. Is there anything I can do in here? No. Okay. Um, yeah, but the VR is the VR version is essentially you can scroll through panoramics on each of them, but because of that, the entire game is in that small window, window like the videos are in. Um, can't go through that door. Um, can't go through that door or that door, and I can't go back. Yes, I can. Um, do you think that using a VR method, do you think that would make this whole ship easier to navigate? Quite possibly. Because um, at the moment I'm just clicking in random places and realising that I can't go anywhere. Yeah. Because there's all these doors and none of them do anything. Do anything. That's where I came in, wasn't that's, it? Yeah. Head back to where you were. That I'll give, that's my hint to you. What, back to the main? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is this just, is there just like a whole load of nothing here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have anybody to give me the hint, so I'm just clicking around. Well, no one said that you couldn't use a walkthrough. No. Like, which, way, which way is back? I went in cold. Is that... <laughs> I know that's the, that's the submarine bit again, isn't it? Where's, where's, how do you get back? Is it turn around? That's it. Um, go... There. there, that's it. Now go turn around. That's it. And it, uh, press down. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I played that and I still couldn't figure it out. Okay, so you're back on the bridge. I do. I think do I have to talk to the lava lamp. I think you should. Let's talk to the lava lamp. Look no further. This is it. The spot. The end all and be all. The living end. It's Edward. <laughs> la creme de la creme. Droid of droids. The force. Everything you've ever needed. All you need to know. This is one awesome... Who programs their AI? It's like an effeminate narcissist. <laughs> well, you get to meet him later. <laughs> oh, so he's an actual real life person, is he? Or is he... Well, or would that be like a robot I thing? don't want to spoil it. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not getting there, I don't think. Look no further. This oh, is it. The spot. Can we skip the this? Press enter. All. The living no, end. No. It's Edward. La creme de la creme. Droid Space the droids. The There's force. no skipping. Escape. There's no skipping. Oh, no. Oh, you've just menued it. How do I go back? Press play. Is it going to start again? No, no. you're right. Well. <laughs> there we go. Let's just keep looking around. Is it the other thing on the other side that you've got to do? No. Oh, something this is your hotline to the movers and shakers. <laughs> Call it intercom. Oh. <laughs> it's, I thought it was going to be something else. Ladies and gentlemen, is, is my revenge video. on uh, James the Biff Man. Oh, wait. There you go. I've just so received a basically, call, to solve that puzzle, you just had to wait a certain days. amount of time until you got this a video. You couldn't have done John anything. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that was the solution. Okay, and maybe John's that's their way of programming Lord you to kind of wife bless ask me to explore to the, no the ship her and get your bearings. Only it was like it did. Do you feel you had your bearings? <laughs> Not really. I truly believe John was onto something, and that this incident supports his suspicion. Considering that Brad is my colleague and good saying. friend. I've He's saying his mate's gone missing an expert, uh, as he was searching for the mirror. Disappearance. And now you need to also find him as well as find a location for uh, the boat to study thank you for the, cooperation you the will sea. Give. Okay. Yeah. I'm no scientist. He seems, he seems really kind of Your car bummed ready. By, the, You're illegal. by his friend being missing. Yeah. Well, and he's just said your card's ready. My card? Yes. Card, C A R D. Yeah, like your access card. Ah, so the, the lava lab told me about that, didn't he? Yeah. See, that doesn't make sense. If I clicked forward, I wouldn't expect to be right in Pick front of the lava lab. The scanner. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's your card. 
Yeah. Now, now it's your turn to figure out what you've got to do with this card. I want to go back downstairs, or go up here, or... No, wait, wait, let's try this first. Can I use that in there? There's a little... Slots. Nope. What about in the front? Bit. Nope. I don't know if you're picking up on all these clicks that I'm clicking. <laughs> but there's an awful lot of clicks. Yep. There's no logic to this game. You there's the no hint. To steer. It's just like, here's a card. Some what do I do with the card? The wheel so it stays. Oh, so it just said the wheel is bogus. So that mean it just says... Was that like a clue saying, don't look over there, there's nothing to see? I think it just speaks trash. Uh, what, what about there? Can't We couldn't get there, could we? <laughs> I'm going to try that because you were laughing. But how do we get there? Uh, there we go. That's it, spam click. Spam that's, click. That's how you ah. win. Well, no, I'm used to the fact that, that certain hotspots are so tiny yep. um, in some of these... And obviously this, this game was a clone of Myst, you know what I mean? So yeah, well... It, it took inspiration from Myst, shall we say. Yeah. Myst was a success and was a great game. This tried to emulate mm. it in a way and was not as sa successful in my opinion. Did you in, like Myst? I did like this. It's not the thing with this is not my genre. Mm -hmm. This type of game. You prefer the LucasArts style, the third, third person. person, yeah. But I can still recognise when um, a game is really good, you know, because obviously Mist was you know, a, a masterpiece. Hence why you got the masterpiece edition. You know what I mean? Um, oh, such a tiny. Game. Yeah. And at least with Mist, like. I, although the puzzles were hard, you knew where the puzzles were and mm. kind of what you were doing. Whereas this is like... Well, I consider, I consider Mist just as much a puzzle game as I do an adventure game. Um, and I think that a lot of Mist clones overplay certain elements of that. Um, so some are just straight up puzzle fests with yeah. very minimal story and just seem to be quite dull they can't give they can't give you the same kind of mystique as what what mist gave yeah. whereas others rely too much on story and the puzzles seem very like they're like second secondary to yeah. to everything else um the worst is when you get puzzles which there's no logic to what you're doing. You know? Sliding puzzles. Yeah. I hate sliding puzzles in adventure <laughs> games. See, sliding was, puzzles uh, and... Um, oh, what's that game? Is it Go? Where you have to put like the little dots on on a chessboard to kind of flip up the other... Like Othello. Okay, yeah. That kind of thing. There's one of them. I, I like The Seventh Guest. It was one of my first games I played. Um... Not the greatest games, but I still think it's amazing. But there's this one puzzle in there where you play that kind of that game of Othello, but with like viruses. Yeah. And there's that's the only one, only puzzle in that game that you can't cheat to get past. You can't use like the hint guide, the yeah. built-in hint guide. You can't use a walkthrough because um, it's randomised. Um, but yeah. But there's always something satisfying about figuring out a tough puzzle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and at least at the and I, I never mind getting stuck on for a while and then mm. going, Oh my goodness, I got it. I know it was tough. Bad but the idea. worst thing is where well, you didn't get it and like somehow you've either figured it out my mistake or you got some idea. help. <laughs> Keep getting bad ideas. And it turned out there was no logic to the actual puzzle. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna put the old Biff man out of his misery here. You need to go back to the bridge. The bridge again? Yes. Is it do you have to talk to the no, this the lava it, lamp. You, you need to find a pixel. <laughs> oh. How do we get out of here? So you oh, go up the stairs, yeah. Back through that door. Yeah. I was expecting to be right at the bottom of the stairs rather than there. And it, I don't know if you if you can tell, but there's a very small 
there we hit go. point that's to finished. exit doors. And that's the same through a lot of it, you know what I mean? And up we go. Right, go to that console. Which one? The, where the wheel is. There you go. Now go to the left. Now um, you need to use your card here. Oh, that's blue. Click everywhere. Wrong pixel, wrong pixel. There you go. Right at the right hand corner. There. You're, You're powered up, up and ready there to go. go. That, that is, doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now what? Powered up now. Yeah. There you go. You've got to play this for another nine minutes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You're not enjoying it? Well, saying that, there's a lot to... I've got a video. There's a lot to, like, mock about it. It's got a certain kind of... Kind of so bad it's good charm. Like like people like the Edward movies. It's got a little bit of that going for it. Um, Get your daily and I think the ba main issue so far is that things just aren't signposted Hello, well. I'm Jean -Michel exactly. Hello, and the graphics aren't detailed Jean enough for you to understand where things are. The reason you're not my as frustrated at this so point is because I've given you some big hints yes, of how to get to the next stage. No, I would have looked up a walkthrough long before that. Now that Miss Fong's on board, let's crank this sucker up. We're out of here. <laughs> there we go. This isn't the controller four. Change in the disc. Yeah. Try it now. Okay. There we go. How am I going downstairs? Uh, no, you need to uh, go and talk to your crew in the intercom. So that oh, was, was the intercom? It was. Was it that thing? No, that's just a TV. You did say about. Oh, I know. It's the, this the other the second. I know. I was paying attention, kind of. There we oh, go. Oh, yes, this is new intercom. No answer. So I'm sure this is, this one doesn't have a name. No answer. This is Chris Young, that's me, so of course there's no answer. Mad scientist. There we go. Sinus here, can I help you? Sinus the scientist. <laughs> so serious. So is this like an option? Yeah. Good day, Professor. I'm sorry to bother you, but I was so impatient to meet you. I don't think I was. Professor, did you invent Edward? Professor, can you tell me about the angel shark for some reason? I'm going to ask him if he invented Edward, and if he did, I'm going to see if I, did. I can punch him. His functionality or... makes it possible he to work did. with a minimal crew. Yeah. The text comes up quite slowly. It does. I wonder if that's from the original program or whether it's the emulation. It's like pulling teeth. Yeah. I find a little Edward a little strange, Professor. I made Edward bright after myself, and personal <laughs> something I'm not. But it's a duality you won't find in many computers, nor in many people, for that matter. Uh, so he's a. He's a class A dick. <laughs> <laughs> he knows himself. Let's put it that way. You know, now, for later, you will need to capture all of this dialogue. So you have to go mm -hmm. through all the options. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, just... Uh, so you just go through everything. You should, yeah. Can we skip dialogue? Because we've got, like, what, five minutes? Uh, and from... Try hitting it. Oh, that's right. There you go. Yeah. So from what you said... There's a mechanic in this that we would like to show you within the next five minutes. That's not going to happen. Oh, is it not going to happen? <laughs> oh, no. Well, connections. read Steve the Brown review, and then you can see about <laughs> what, mechanics, and what that mechanic design. is. Does he say anything interesting? Uh, no. I'll be honest, I don't think there's, in my opinion, much interesting in this game. <laughs> Okay. Well, but that's my to personal opinion. Personal opinion, and yeah. to be fair, do you, you think that people who are interested in um, oceanography and the Jacques Cousteau do what you think they would you know? get more out of it? There than, are no secrets among us. Than us. I would like to say people. 
Yes, but I think that the problems with the game is I think people get frustrated because you can't get through simple stuff because it's so difficult to do. Like, mm. look, uh, a prime example is where we've phone? just played through where you've done pixel hunting and a couple of things. Mm -hmm. And it's taken us 25 minutes just to go to meet the crew. The mm. um, so I think there is a game in there somewhere um, but it's just getting through the the, the difficult. It, it's trying to make puzzles out of stuff that doesn't need to be a puzzle. It's like why would you make it really hard to open a door? Because that's not interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I get that. Mm -hmm. But the, I think if you look at it, mm -hmm. it has been made with care. In well, someone obviously wanted to make this game. They put a lot of effort in with Jean-Michel and these other characters that are in there in the video for the time and I think for the time it looks relatively good you know what I mean uh, I just don't think they succeeded in what they were trying to do yeah. what year was this released again 96 96 96 我的大學是在北京念的。我主要研究日本歷史。Well, oh, subtitles. Exactly. And I am wait for I am an historian. Now, grammatical error. An historian. There we go. Well, in fairness to her, she is uh, Chinese. She's Chinese. But the funny thing is you're searching for a Japanese artifact, but you've got a Chinese expert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they decided on that, but I just thought I'd bring that up. Yeah, you know okay. Because I mean? yeah. in modern days, that's racist. <laughs> well, well no, look at the movie for um, Memoirs of a Geisha, set in Japan, starring Chinese, Chinese actors. actors. Yeah, there we go, exactly. <laughs> Many legends surround the rulers of the period, and so is of great interest to many scientists. All new discoveries generally draw a lot of great attention. There you go. Oh no, a lot of attention. End of conversation. End of conversation. Well, Cut you off. I, I don't believe we're going to get any further in this game. I think we time. should. Perfect way to pause this. I think yes. you've got, a, got an idea of this. Shall we give you a brief uh, description of what those underwater scenes entail? Um, they're kind of full, full motion video, um, and, but it's real sort of underwater footage. Which so are, is it like filmed by Jack Cousteau for his documentaries? Yes, maybe? yes. it was filmed by the, the, the man and his team. Mm -hmm. um, and it was for the time, like it was the first time that anybody had ever done that. So that, that in, a game. in a game, yeah. yes, not, not, not in a documentary. Not, I mean, he's been doing it that. since the 70s. Um, but that, that was the hook of the game, mm. supposedly. Before we say goodbye to this one, stick around because we're going to be playing the VR for potentially five seconds, just to give you an idea of what that is. But if you want the full review, read Avalon's review, come into the site, and as you could probably tell, I wasn't enamoured. <laughs> I've read his review, he was quite harsh. I don't think it deserves quite that much harshness, in my opinion, but there is a lot... A lot to criticise yeah. about this game. I look forward to everybody's opinion. So this is the VR mode. As you can see, the image is smaller than before. That's because the resolution is low, quite simply. Um, but right from the off, you can... You hold the mouse button and drag to spin around. Do you feel it is easier? with this mode, although it is smaller. It gives you a better idea of your surroundings, because previously you just click wherever. Um, but let's let's open some doors and get some key cards and then see what happens. Then see what happens. Can we skip this blooming Edward guy? No. You have to listen to Edward again. Skip. 
All VIPs no. register with me. No, skip. Sign in, please. Skip. Sign in, please. This smug little bastard. Ready. Okay. So that's. Cool, both huh? So, this could all be yours if Jean Michel puts you in charge. So it looks like there's certain points where the You're VR clever. isn't that's good. implemented. implemented. Jean Michel's yeah. waiting. Which suggests it was an after. Hmm. Welcome aboard the Skip. Skip. Hello. Oh, you've just. Your Skip. objective is clear. Your objective is clear. Technology. Skip. <laughs> You could skip everyone apart think? from Blimmin' Edward. <laughs> um, yeah, so... The Antares was made for tech junkies like you. Mm, no, it wasn't. So there's not much... The nodes are still there. Yeah. You did jump crazily at that point. how do you get back point. to it? It's like we've left it and can't get back yeah. to it. Yeah. So... Simply sublime. Doesn't see much point if they weren't going to implement it properly. Yeah. 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 That was it. That was it. That's the VR. You get the bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to play a little bit more just to see what happens. I can't remember what we do now. Something about card. No, we have to wait for that bugger to... Can we, can't we just get to like the video screen and then... No. He... You have to wait a set amount of time for no reason. Well, that was... A bit pants. I'll help you out when I can, but remember one thing. I'm real smart and I like a challenge.